everyone. It's the middle of the week. I'm gonna make one of our favorite dinners. We don't do it often because um, chicken wings aren't always that cheap anymore. Um, they used to be a really cheap thing when I first got married, but they're not anymore because they're so popular. I do want to say go Preds! Game two tomorrow night of the Stanley Cup Finals. I'm so excited. I know they had a hard time last night, but they'll get them tonight, tomorrow night. Um, so these are chicken wings and I usually buy the big long package of them where they have the, the drumstick, the wing, and the tip all connected still. You can buy the frozen ones, but I don't like the frozen ones. These aren't my favorite brand either because they're the same as the frozen ones, which the package says that they are injected with broth. I don't like broth injected in my food. Um, most of it has a lot of sulfites and other chemicals in it, so I try to avoid those if I can. But these are, we wanted wings this week and these are what I was able to find. Um, I got two packages. One of them was marked down to seven and a half dollars. The other one was ten dollars. So this is a twenty dollar dinner that will be divided between the five of us or the four of us. But we usually only eat like six pieces, like six of these six to eight in a serving. So it's not like it's a huge thing. Um, I'm gonna show you how I cut these and what I do is I have a bowl right here and I'm not sure if you can see, it's got all my chicken tips in it. Um, if you've seen my chicken, um, how I cut raw chicken video, which I'll link down below, um, then you'll know this is basically how I cut that chicken as well. The first thing you need to do is have a really good sharp knife, okay? I have an electric sharpener and this is one of my favorites because it's not a huge knife. It's, it's really easy to use and so I just keep this one really nice and sharp. I've cut myself about three times in the last two weeks with this one actually. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hold the chicken and the first thing I do is I stretch it out like this and I'm going to cut the tip off first. And it's not always an easy thing to do because you are going to be cutting through a lot of that bone. But once it's cut, you just go ahead and put that in your bowl of tips. You're gonna save those tips because those are gonna go in your bone broth to help um, with the collagen and all the really good stuff that's gonna be in there. The next thing I do, just like with my chicken thighs, is I hold it by the drumstick. And I'm actually gonna hold it more like this. This is going to be more safe and secure. And you see how it's got that bend right there? There's a joint right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to spread it out and you're going to cut at an angle between those joints. And then you've got it cut in half. Uh, let's see. There we go. I know you can't see my cutting board too well, but that's just... You know, like I said, this is very similar to my original video on how to cut raw chicken. It's exactly the same method you're going to use with this. And um, so I'm going to finish. I've got two more to do. Once I get these two finished, I'm going to wash my hands because, uh, you know, raw chicken isn't always the best thing. And I'll spread these out. I have two. Um, parchment lined baking sheets. I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and um, get these seasoned up. I'll show you how I do that as well as pop them in the oven. This is a nice easy recipe. Um, we make it a little bit probably harder than we need to because we like it crispy on both sides. So ours cook for a really long time and ours usually tend to, we flip them halfway through once the tops get all nice and golden brown, then we flip them and do the bottoms. So I'm going to grab some tongs here that I should have grabbed before. Sorry about that guys. And I'm just going to be spreading out these uh, chicken wings on the on the pans. Go ahead and move this. Let's see if I can move this back to see if you guys can see this. Um, spices that we normally use are going to be salt, cayenne pepper, ginger, oregano. Sometimes we'll throw rosemary in there. Um, we don't use onion and garlic just because 
I'm allergic. I'm allergic to onion and garlic, so we don't use those spices. If I were making these only for my family, I'd probably add it. You can do just onion powder and garlic powder, and it gives it more of a fried chicken flavor. Um, so, you know, use the spices that you like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with salt. And, of course, salt liberally. I use pink Himalayan because I like to grind my own salt. Um, iodized salt is going to have caking agents in it. Those caking agents, not only are they, um, are they laden with carbs, but they're also very laden with sulfites. So again, that's another thing that I just absolutely do not use because I can't. Um, so I don't use iodized salt. I could use kosher. I could use sea salt. I just use the Himalayan today because that's what I have. Um, hmm. Looks like my... Uh, Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my cayenne pepper, which looks like I've lost my shaker top, so I'm going to sprinkle it over. We like ours a little bit um, more spicy, and so because I'm not going to use um, Frank's Red Hot with these, I'm going to add cayenne instead. And this will give it a nice, uh, nice little heat to it, but not too much that you're just dying and you can't eat them. So I'm going to go ahead and just liberally sprinkle them on. I heard one time by some TV chef that if you hold it up higher while you're sprinkling it, it'll be a more even uh, coating of whatever spice it is that you're using. Um, one thing that you could use on this is going to be um, Parmesan cheese. We don't do that because <coughs> my daughter's going to be eating these and she's allergic to dairy. So <laughs> we have a lot of uh, things to work around, but we usually make it pretty, uh, pretty good. I haven't had a complaint yet. So now what I'm sprinkling on is my ginger. I like the flavor of ginger. Ginger has a lot of really neat properties to it. And um, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle on some uh, oregano. I like oregano. Oregano is actually used in a lot of different cultures. It's used in, of course, Italian for all of their spaghetti sauces and marinaras and stuff like that. And in their Italian seasoning and or their Italian sausage, excuse me. And then um, it's also very used in... Um, Hispanic food as well. If you ever look at the spice ingredients or make your own taco seasoning, taco seasoning is always going to include oregano. So the oregano and the ginger and the um, and the uh, cayenne pepper all kind of work together to give it a really neat flavor. And that's it. That's all I do to prepare these. Um, sometimes I'll flip them over and um, add more to the back, but I'm just not going to do that tonight. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will pop these in my oven and I will pick up once these are all cooked so that you can see what they really look like. But here's one pan right here and here's the other pan right here. So I will show you how these look once we're done. Thank you. All right, here are the beauties halfway through. We have um, two pans. One thing that I did do is that I swapped them. I have two racks in my oven and I swapped top to bottom about 15 minutes ago um, so that they could evenly cook. And as you can see, they are fully cooked, but we like crispy skin. So I'm going to try to stay out of the light and flip all of these because we like it crispy on both sides. Floppy skin is not part of our household. We like them all nice and crispy. We don't deep fry them, so this is the price you pay. 
that I like using parchment for this because the parchment is going to get the bottom a little bit crispier uh, once we get them all flipped and also it's easier cleanup. I use parchment instead of um, tin foil for just about everything these days. I use it when I make my um, when I make my cheese crackers and I use it when I bake anything. Um, the only time I don't, the only time I use um, tin foil is going to be when I'm grilling or when I'm having my husband grill, I should more accurately say. Um, we've tried to grill these before and <laughs> I think that was the day we ran out of um, charcoal. So we finished them in the oven, which was fine with us because again, they, the skin just wasn't crisping up and I'm a textures person, it's gotta be crispy. So um, I'm almost done. You can see this doesn't take very long at all. I'm trying to keep it <laughs> where you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, there's no spices on the back, and, and that's fine. I mean, I might add a little bit more salt to the back just to give it a little bit of flavor. The other day, I was uh, salting up some chicken for the grill, and well, spicing chicken for the grill, and I told my husband, I said, well, half of it's done, so, you know, we've got the spices on this one side, so go ahead and go grill them. And he just gave me this look like, are you serious? You have got to spice both sides of that chicken for the best flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit more salt to this. I'm also going to add um, maybe a little bit of paprika this time. We did the cayenne on the other side, but I think the paprika is going to give it a really nice golden color as well, and it won't bring any additional heat because we don't want to make them too spicy. All right, guys, these were definitely worth the wait. These little puppies are sizzling and brown and gorgeous, and everybody is more than ready to eat these. These took about an hour to an hour and a half to cook. I did add a little paprika to these because we like that. And um, I just want to kind of show you what these look like. So they're nice and brown on both sides. And I'll tell you what, one of the favorite parts of this is not so much the chicken wings as it is all the pan drippings. This is where all the good, yummy flavor gets cooked into, and it makes a nice little crispy thing, and I'll tell you what, we all fight over this. I know it's really bad, but it's so good. Um, so anyway, this is our chicken wings for tonight. Everybody's really hungry. It's about 7.30 at night, so we usually eat a little bit earlier than this. But um, I wanted to make this video for you guys tonight, and I hope you enjoy it. We'll be enjoying these wings tomorrow night while we are watching the Predators stomp the penguins. So you guys have a great night. Go Preds, and go make you some chicken wings.